In this section of intermediate algebra, we're going to be covering linear inequalities. So this ought to be fun. And I know you're excited. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the whiteboard here. So finding the solution to a linear inequality is much like finding the solution to an equation. So let's start off with x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 10. So I want to find all the numbers that I can plug in for x that makes this true. But this, will be, this number over here will be either greater than 10 or it could be equal to 10. So we solve this just like we'd solve if this were just an equal sign here. However, there's a couple uh, exceptions. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. Rewriting the inequality sign. So 5 minus 5 is 0, so we're left with x is greater than or equal to, and this will become 5 over here. 10 minus 5 is 5. Now let's go ahead and draw a graph. So I'm going to attempt to draw a straight line. I'm using a tablet and a pen, so this is not exactly easy to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and label just Go ahead and just label 0 on the number line here. And I'll just say, OK, 5 is right here. How's that on the number line? Now, because this is an equal sign here, we're going to include include the equal. So I'm going to put a filled in dot here because it, we're saying that it, in, it includes 5. And then everything greater than 5, greater than or equal to 5. There's another way of writing this solution, and I'm going to go ahead and state that. We can also write it like this. This is interval notation, where I have a bracket, which means I include 5, and we're going out to infinity, and we put a parenthesis here because that means that we don't ever reach infinity. So this is an interval notation. So what number I no matter what number I pick in here, when I plug it in here, this will always be greater than or equal to 10. And you can test that out yourself. You can take 7 and plug it in, and you will see that that will be greater than or equal to 10. All right, let's look at another one here. We have x minus 9 is greater than negative 2. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And we're left with x is greater than 7. Now let's go ahead and draw a graph. So attempting to draw a straight line here. That's not too bad. And I'm just going to label 0 here. And we'll say 7 is here. So you notice this doesn't include the equal sign. So I'm going to put an, just a circle here. And then it's everything greater than 7. Now our interval notation will be a parentheses. Now you notice I put a parentheses here indicating that we can't use 7. Okay, and it goes out to infinity. Okay, so this is going to be a problem for you to find the uh, solution. And I'll actually help you out here. Right. You write the interval notation, and you want to also make sure that you draw the graph. So I'm going to label 0 here, and we'll put 8 here. And remember, it includes it. Okay, so you try to figure out how to get this.